There are a number of potential scenarios that can cause too much water to accumulate inside the brine tank. We've put together a list to help you troubleshoot this common problem. One cause could be a bad spacer stack assembly, a bad downflow piston, or a bad brine piston. In order to determine whether this is the case, you should make sure the system is in service and not in regeneration, with water flowing through the valve. Next, pull the brine elbow and drain elbow from the valve and look to see if there is any water movement in either the valve brine hole or drain hole by looking down into them for 15 to 20 seconds. If there is any water movement in either of these holes, the valve has a bad spacer stack or bad pistons. At this point, it is easiest to simply replace the spacer stack and both pistons, because identifying the faulty part is often very difficult and time-consuming. If you don't see water movement in the brine or drain holes, you likely don't have a bad spacer stack or pistons. You should then check to see if the drain line is kinked, plugged, or too long. You can check this by following the drain line from the unit to the drain. Look for kinks in the line, or for clogging throughout or near the drain. Clogging can often be caused by ice, salt crystallization, or dirt. If you notice any issues, you may need to clean or replace the drain line. Also, if the drain line run is more than 8 feet vertical or 20 feet horizontal from the system to the drain, it may be too long and will have trouble moving water to the drain. It may need to be shortened. To verify water is draining properly, put the system into manual regeneration and make sure water is freely flowing from the drain line. If you're not seeing any of the previous issues, another item to check is the drain flow control button located in the drain elbow. Look to see if the drain line flow control button is clogged. If it is, you'll need to clean or replace it. While you're checking the system, you may also want to take a look at the injector assembly. Look to see if the injector is clogged. Check both the vertical and horizontal holes of the injector. If they are clogged, you'll need to clean or replace it. It is recommended to replace the injector instead of cleaning it, as cleaning it can often deform the injector holes. The next possible cause could be that a salt bridge is formed inside the brine tank. To check this, you'll likely need to remove enough salt from the brine tank to see if a bridge has formed lower in the tank. A salt bridge will usually be a solid block or plate of salt taking up volume in the brine tank. If you find this, you'll need to break out the salt bridge and remove it. Be gentle, as the brine tank could crack as you're removing the salt bridge. Hot water can often make breaking up a salt bridge easier. Finally, one last area to check is the programming of your system. Go to the brine draw and salt setting screens on the valve by pushing the next and down arrow buttons simultaneously for several seconds. Then push the next button several times to show the brine draw cycle setting. Make sure the brine draw cycle is set at 60 minutes. Push the next button several more times to show the salt setting and make sure the salt setting is correct for the system size. We recommend calling WaterTech to confirm factory settings for these cycles. In review, here are the six areas to check if you have too much water in the brine tank. We hope this tech video has been helpful. Please call us or check out the WaterTech website if you need more information.